Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio and I'm back today with a diamond painting that I just brought you and we're going to work on it with the new Melanie B's Diva Dough and Sassy Wax. And it took me two months to develop these two different formulas for diamond painting. And you guys are probably wondering why did it take so daggum long? <laughs> It's because I wanted to perfect them as much as possible anyway to make them long-lasting and to make them worth what you're getting so you know I'm all about quality control and I wanted the features that would make it a good value to make them both work in the best way possible for you so there are differences between the two and I will give you a brief explanation. This one is called Diva Dough because I am a diamond painting diva. And now you can tell I've been using this one and you can see that it's, you know, lovingly used. This one has a great scent to it. This one right now smells like coconut. And in the future, each month we'll have a scent of the month and the Diva Dough will be available in scents. And I've debated on going ahead and offering the Sassy Wax, which is a different formula. Um, it is currently unscented and it might be available in scents as well, but it will always be available unscented. But I'm gonna show you both of these today and we'll do some tests about how many drills I can put down with each of them. So Ashlyn and I have both tested these extensively. And what we did is we sat there day in and day out with diamond paintings and we like literally counted how many drills we could put down with each one and in different batches and we'd add a little of this and test it again and add that and test it again and then once we found what we thought was the miracle recipe for each one then we would retest it five six seven times each and then we just averaged it out so then I also tested it with gemstone rhinestone based diamond paintings and she tested it with the plastic type drill like the ones I'm going to be using today and then we averaged those out they also both work very well with multi-placing tools. So as this type right here, where you can put, put down, you know, 10 drills at a time, they work equally well with those tools also. So you're not limited to just using it as a single placing uh, wax. You can use both of them in your multi-placer. So that's a perk. The gemstone type diamond paintings I was able to get, and I, this is no exaggeration, you guys, when I was doing the gemstone diamond paintings, I was able to get as many as 225 drills placed with both types. And I was like, why am I able to get this many drills placed with these waxes? And I realized that it's because a, a gemstone or a rhinestone little drill has that point on it and so it was going up into the drill pin and it was so easy to pick up because the drill pin was you know the wax is up inside and it was picking it up so easily so it's different depending on the drills that you're using it with i'm trying to remember how many times we test it with square drills so you know i'm trying to remember the average so on average it's about 150 to 180 drills for plastic drills like the ones I'm doing today. It also depends on how you hold your pen, how much pressure you apply. So if you're one of those people that likes the pop, it will make that popping sound for both of them. But if you like that pop, you're gonna get less drills down before you're reloading because you're applying more pressure and pushing harder, which means you're pushing the wax way up inside more and it's going to get shoved up in there and then you're going to be adding more wax. So you're going to get less drills placed just by getting that pop sound that you like so much. So consider that. <laughs> so it just depends on how you like to do it. I apply my drills 
from the side, from the middle, from the edge. And my test included how long I could go using it every way possible until I totally could not get another drill to stick to this thing. So I was, you know, making it last as long as possible. So my tests were, I wasn't giving up if I could get another drill to stick to this. Ashlyn's test was on the lower end. When she was like, I'm frustrated, I can't get another drill to stick, she was going in and filling it back up. So keep that in mind. Then we averaged it out. So that's why we had different numbers, but that's what I wanted. So I'm gonna give you some tips about how to load your pen, how to make the most out of what you're getting because they look tiny from this angle. But once you see there is 15 grams of wax in each one, you guys, these are gonna last a long time. A long time, there's a ton of wax in here. Now this one's not full. This one has been being used by me and by Ashlyn, and so we've used a lot of it. You're gonna get the same amount in the Diva dough that you get in the Sassy Wax container. So it's gonna be, you know, about right there when you get it. So keep that in mind. Now the other thing is the containers are super duper cute. It took me forever to find the cutest containers. And I'm still looking for containers because I may change these up. I mean, like they're super cute. I love them, but you know. All right, one last thing I wanna mention about the product itself is that they are available in a lot of colors, but when you place an order, I cannot do specific colors because it would get insane. So the diamond painting I'm gonna be working on is the Paint with Diamonds, Leonid Afromov, Milky Snow. I just did a review on this piece and that's what's under here. I'm using the A2 light pad underneath that I did a review on because it is fabulous. That's here. I did not go ahead and kit this up. I put it in one of these clear containers with just the bags and order. I have one of the Diva Doughs, one of the Sassy Waxes that you can get from Melanie B's Creative Supplies, and I'll put the website right here where to get that. The tools came with the, the kit from Paint With Diamonds, and this is a tool that I had gotten with another diamond painting kit. I can't remember, but what this is is for square drills. It's really for both, round and square, but it's great for straightening square drills. Okay, I'm just using the same pen that came with the kit, so you don't have to have anything special as far as the pen goes to use with your waxes. So I'm gonna be zooming in here to show you how to load your pen with the waxes. And I am going to get another pen because I'm starting with a fresh pen, uh, but I wanna have one for the Diva Dough and one for the Sassy Wax so that I can show you each one. So I'm gonna grab a second pen that's brand new. It's never been loaded with anything and we're gonna get started. So the trick is if the wax has gotten cold, it doesn't have to be warm. So let me, let me make sure I'm clear about that. You don't want the wax warm, it can be too soft, but it just needs to be like room temperature. So if it gets that way, I will put it under my leg if I'm sitting or for like five minutes, or I'll put it under my armpit or something. <laughs> poor, poor tin, bless it. And I will make sure it's just kind of softened up. Then I will take my drill pen, and I make sure that it's a cleaned out pen so there's no other wax in it. And the trick is just to make sure that you're pushing it all the way down and getting it filled up. Now it is not full, okay? So pay attention to the fact that this golden part of the tip, is somewhere between a quarter of an inch, probably in a half an inch. So we're gonna have to put quite a bit of wax in it to get it completely full. Because if you don't get it full, then your wax is gonna get pushed up in there and you're gonna be like, hey, I'm refilling this thing a lot. But it's because as you push, your wax is going up inside and you're gonna be refilling it and you're gonna go, hey, she lied to me. Well, I didn't because I wouldn't do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this down in here and you can load it how you want, but I like to kind of push and push and push and push until I know that that little, that little gold part is pretty full. And then once I feel like there's a pretty good bit down in there, then I will take it and just start sliding it across the top, okay? And I create what I call inchworms, because <laughs> y'all know I'm, an, I'm a weirdo. 
and and it looks like what is she doing and I'm just gonna slide it but you see how soft this wax is it is so awesome and then I take my finger and I start pushing it kind of inside now I don't have to do this every time once it's loaded and this whole thing is full this is not a process that I have to do every single time I load this once it's loaded completely it's a different reload method and you can even use what's in this lid like what I just pushed in there and get it in there all right so I just clean it up around the edges I don't this stuff does not leave wax bugs <laughs> on your drills I hate wax I hate the term booger <laughs> but you know what that pink wax does it leaves like wax boogers the other thing I probably should mention is this doesn't leave wax residue on the gemstones the rhinestones or these drills so that was a lovely thing I, that's why I kept working on the recipe because if it left residue I started over I hate residue so I don't want cloudy drills that defeats the purpose of them being sparkly so anyway now that I've got it loaded and if you see these little inchworms on the top that's why this looks kind of messy I like to push these back down with the warmth of my finger like I said that's just me being extra during this test I'm going to time lapse it, but I'm also going to count how many drills I'm placing. And you can count with me if you would like to, even though I'll be doing it pretty fast, you know it's not a fast process, so it's not gonna go so fast that you probably can't count with me. But I will be counting as I go, and we will do a test on how many drills I got down. Uh, for some reason, around 35 to 45 drills. Sometimes I'll get a little white ring of wax. It might get on my drills, it might get on my uh, pen. I'll wipe it off and I push it back in there and that's the last time I have that issue until I get to like 170. And then I'm like, that, I don't know why, but um, because when you're push, push, pushing it, it will kind of push out. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna turn on the light pad. Ooh, look at that and reposition you guys all right I just switched my tray so you could actually see a little bit better on the blue all right so let's start counting now you hear that pop right off the right off the bat that's the pop I'm talking about. Four. Now, it's funny, you see here, like I get to this number, 40 or whatever, <laughs> and I get this little ring of wax, and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> I called it, didn't I? It's so weird, and then I'm just gonna push it back in there. And then it should not happen again. I don't know why it does that, but whatever. So I'm on 40.
Okay, so that is 172, and when I'm holding it straight up and down, I can still pick them up, so that's 173. If it gets harder to pick them up, then I'm just gonna stop, because you would probably be like, I'm gonna refill my pen right now, so I'm gonna be realistic about that. So 173 is what I got without refilling, which I think is pretty doggone incredible. Um, and this is when I would barely just put a little more and use the lid, where's the lid? I mean, you can use your finger, you can use whatever you want, and then get it in there, and that's all you're gonna use to refill. You guys, do you see how long this little 15 gram container will last you if that's all you're using to refill? Was that tiny, tiny amount I just put back in there? So once you have your pen filled completely, the only amount you're ever going to need to refill is that amount right there. That's it. And it's gonna continue to go and go and go. So it, my point is this, when people look and they say, well, how much do you charge for this? Um, you know, this is gonna replace all of the wax that you have and continue to work for you indefinitely. Like I, I don't wanna say forever and ever, but I mean, how long do you think this is going to last you if all you're doing is refilling? If you just continue to use the same pen or, you know, even if you fill up a new pen and you're only refilling with that much, how much do you think you're going to use and how long do you think this is going to last? <laughs> and the Sassy Wax is the same way. So I'm just, you know, I don't know. I'm in love with my own product, which sounds so narcissistic or egotistical, and I'm not trying to be at all, but it took me so long to develop these two because I wanted them to be as close to perfect as they could be. Now, I know that nothing is ever perfect, but you know, I, I'm hoping that you will find them, besides the fact that they do look messy, find them to be very, very easy to use once you do the little method that I've taught you. Um, that you love the way they work and that kind of thing. So let me test the multi-placer for you and show you how that works. I won't do as many. I just want to show you that it does work with the multi-placer so that you can see for yourself that it will work. The multi-placer doesn't take as much to fill as the regular pen because you don't have that same kind of depth. Um, but I'm going to just go ahead and push it sideways and get it filled. Hey, that actually cleans up the top of my wax. You see it's already kind of getting cool because of the way my house is so frigid um, because I am a hot natured person. Especially standing in front of these lights, I actually kicked my heat down because it was getting super hot, but all right. So I'm just gonna fill it, any excess, I'll just smooth. I put all excess back in here. So my hands are always clean when I start a project, so I'm not putting like dirty wax back in the container. And then I just make sure it's, you know, nice and smooth across the top. So it's neat. It is not my best straightening. All right. And this is the four multi-placer. Pop. Actually, I just got five on there because this is such sticky wax. It actually picked up five but perfect, I love it. And, it. and really, honestly, that's what I would do right here. I wouldn't be using this with single placement. I would be using it with um, the multi-placer. Oops. Usually when I rock it, I get them all placed. All right, so now let's do our test with the Sassy Wax. And you will notice that it looks like a wax. As I mentioned before, this is an unscented wax for now, and I will always offer it unscented. So you guys who have issues with scents, like I do, I actually have major problems with scented things because scents are a very serious trigger for my migraines. I went ahead and made sure I had an unscented option for both of these. Now, I do not offer the Diva Dough in an unscented option. Coconut doesn't bother me. And I absolutely love this scent because it's light and it is just so refreshing. But the Sassy Wax is always gonna be available in an unscented option. 
but I might in the future add scented options with it as well. I just haven't decided yet. So that is something you can watch for if you like this particular formula. That is actually why I have two different options and formulas to begin with, is I wanted to make sure that I always had one scented version and one unscented version without affecting the recipe. So that's why there are two different formulations for these waxes. You can tell I haven't even used this one yet. I pulled this one out of my inventory because Ashlyn has taken the one that we <laughs> that we use for our test. So I said, well, you, she can keep that one and I will take this one. In fact, I think she has a different Diva dough now because she loved it so much. She's kept one of each. So I'm going to keep this one for myself. All right, so we're gonna kind of do the same thing that we did with the Diva dough. And this is a clean, fresh drill pin. We're gonna go ahead and load basically the same way with the Sassy Wax. And I've had this under my arm a little bit. So I'm gonna push straight down to start with and start loading the pin making little holes in my wax. But you see it's a nice, soft texture. And I'm gonna do that a couple of times, let's say three times, till I feel like it's gonna get up in this pen, let's say four. And it's not gonna hurt to go ahead and do it a few times. So if it skips across the top, it's probably just cool. But I'm going to go ahead, like I did the Diva dough, and I'm just gonna slide it across, creating my little inchworms, <laughs> until I feel like it is completely loaded into my drill pen. And I always overdo it. It doesn't require this many little trips across the top. Okay, so I did the exact same thing to load it as I did the Diva dough. And you guys know the reason I named them those Sassy Wax and Diva dough is because of who I am. <laughs> I used to do makeup videos, so if that tells you anything. Uh, okay, all right, so I've got it loaded just like I did. You can tell it, I've made it all messy now. <gasps> it pains me. All right, I'm gonna set it aside and let's see how many drills I can get placed with my sassy wax. Now I'll do like I did a minute ago. I will start counting, I'll stop at 100, and then I'll move this way and we'll do some more. I'll start where you can hear the pop and everything, and then I will start time-lapsing it.
right, that's 100. I'm gonna reposition some of these. I got them all wonky. Let me go ahead and expose some more. All right, let's go back. Starting at 101. Okay, so I got to 144 or 143, and that was it before I need to reload. That's still really good, and I was using the wax a little colder than I like to, but that is just an average. Like I said, sometimes I have gotten up over, I got to 228 or 230 or something with the gemstone type, like I said, and I wasn't testing this with the regular diamond drills. Now with the round, we've gotten closer to 200. With square, I didn't test it, test it with square, and I think Ashlyn did. So it, it just varies depending on what you're using it with. So it just depends on a lot of variables. But the bottom line is you are going to get way more out of either of these waxes than you do with the red wax that comes with this, the kits that you get. Obviously, you know, you're getting those waxes for free, but the time that it takes to reload and to stop and to take the wax boogers off, <laughs> off your paintings and things like that, these will kind of prevent you from those little extra PETA issues, and y'all know what I mean by PETA issues, but you know, I'm hoping that you will enjoy using the wax. I created them because I wanted something that I could use personally that would help me stay efficient in my painting process. You know, I'm not about trying to be a super fast diamond painter because I enjoy the process. Like we've talked about in so many different things. I like the therapy of my hobbies. That's why I do them. So it's not about me trying to finish it super fast, but you guys know if you have health conditions and you only feel well a certain amount of time or you only have energy a certain amount of time, how much of that time do you want to waste refilling your pen with wax? It's just one of those little things. So that's why I came up with these. I know there are other waxes on the market. There are a lot of really good ones out there, I'm sure. So I, I just wanted to create my own and I wanted to have Ashlyn add diamond painting to the website because that's one of my other passions. And I know that eventually we'll have other hobbies added as well. So it's not just paint by numbers and diamond painting, but I do want to slowly start adding some things for my diamond painting enthusiast. And this seemed like a logical place to start. Oh, and I did not show you the multi-placer for the Sassy Wax. So let me do that really fast because I feel like I need to show you that, that it does work with it. So give me a brief minute, let's do that. I'll just do a small area and then I can feel like I've shown you everything there is to show with these except for gemstones, which I will do in another video separately. So I'll be right back. All right, so I've got a little multi-placer here and I believe this is a three. I really wanna add drill pins and the metal multi-placers to the website. Um, and Ashlyn's been researching those, the ones that actually have engraved on the tip the size, like three, four, five, or whatever, so it tells you which size it is, because, yeah, I'm really bad at looking at it going, hey, that's a three, uh, so, because I don't use it often enough, so just scooping it, you don't need this much, okay, I'm just making sure it's all in there, and then just smoothing it off the top, making sure it's nice and Get it off my hand 
getting it smooth across the top so it doesn't come like squishing out the sides when you push down. Okay, and then we're going to go in and pick up our drills and I'll just do this little area here right there. I didn't even pick them up. That would have been nice. It's so sticky. And set and roll is the trick. And there we go. So you can see that it works really well. Oh, where'd that little booger come from? Y'all probably saw me drop it and didn't even, didn't yell out and go, hey, you dropped one some point but that's how well the waxes work and the multi-placers so you guys that is it for today i hope this helps you understand how to use the diva dough and the sassy wax that are now available at melanie b's creative supplies and i'd also like for you to comment below if there are other diamond painting supplies that you would like to see added at the supplies shop so i can forward that information on to ashlyn personally i would like to have her add the alloy type of drill pins that are a little nicer or maybe even the LED drill pins that have the light at the end with the, you know, the case, anything like that. Now, I don't plan to carry the kits because kits can get out of control. As far as tools go, what would you like to see? Now, I am all about carrying the big A2 and A3 light pads, so that's something I'd love to see as well. But yes, drop a comment. Let me know what tools you'd love to see. All right, you guys, thanks as always for watching, and I will see you back soon.